covering Tuscaloosa now, a decision that would allow beer and wine to be sold at Coleman Coliseum, receiving some pushback. Yeah, the process is on hold after a decision by the athletic director in response to Tuscaloosa City Council requiring a service fee on tickets. CBS 42's Tim Reed joins us now at the University of Alabama with what's next. I spoke to Tuscaloosa City Council President Kip Tyner to get his take on this situation. He disagrees with the move made by UA Athletic Director Greg Byrne, calling it a bad decision. I know the first thing, you know, we're just not going to overreact. You know, I think he did, um, but that's his problem. City Council President Kip Tyner was disappointed after seeing what Greg Byrne posted on social media Monday morning regarding alcohol sales at campus events. The athletic director said, quote, it is very unfortunate that the city of Tuscaloosa's plan would unreasonably target Alabama athletics and our fans with a service fee on all tickets where alcohol is sold, even tickets sold to children. Well, I'm a little surprised, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I think the city have been incredible partners with the University of Alabama for many years. Um, the last year we spent 1.75, almost 1.8 million in overtime for our police department uh, to not only work the athletic events, but also to work all graduations as well. Two weeks ago, the Tuscaloosa City Council approved the sale of beer and wine in Coleman Coliseum during basketball and gymnastics events. The city also adopted a measure that would apply a service fee of $3 to tickets for events where alcohol is sold. Honestly, in the scheme of things and what it's going toward, um, what is $3? Greg Byrne goes on to say that UA pays 10% sales tax on all ticket sales and 3% goes to the city of Tuscaloosa. On social media, Byrne said for these reasons and more, we don't think this is a reasonable approach that the city is attempting to take. And pending further review of this service fee, Alabama Athletics will not be moving forward with alcohol sales at this time. I think we should have um, some discussion. You know, apparently he doesn't feel like he has, you know, he needs to do that. We reached out to get a comment from UA Athletic Director Greg Byrne, but he was not available for comment. In Tuscaloosa, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.